Good morning and welcome to this morning's devotion. Uh, it is uh, Wednesday, January 14th. This morning I'm reading from Christ in Our Home dev- Daily Devotional. Uh, this one is called uh, Always Full of Surprises. And it's based on 1 Samuel uh, 16 verses 1 through 13. It'll sound familiar. The Lord does not see as mortals see, and the Lord looks on the heart. Verse 7. <clears throat> One's first impressions play an important role. They offer a starting point, a point of comparison that informs learning. However, when one sees them as the end point, therein lies a problem. Experience teaches that while initial impressions can be spot on, they are often found to be incomplete and lacking. The path to wisdom is found in withholding judgment until one can see the complete picture in a way that can lead to a wonderful discovery. In today's story of God's choice of David as king of Israel, all present have their ideas as to who should be king. They look to outward appearances, probably nuanced by individual preference and bias. As human beings are wont to do, Samuel and those gathered must have been quite surprised that God's choice was a youngster who was not even considered important enough to to be invited to the anointing in the first place. Who knows what surprises God has in store for us this day. Yeah, one of the things that that kind of bothered me, and and I found this to be more so when I was in college, was um, when somebody would do something and they do something out of anger or hurt, and out of character sometimes, and and people would say, well, I guess you showed your true colors, didn't you? Um, no, it's not all of who I am. Um, all of us have, have this side of us that strike out and lash out in anger sometimes, or unfairness, or, or what have you. It's not who we are in totality. It's just a part of our humanity. Um, you miss the point of, of the 98% of the time when we're, we're compassionate and merciful and forgiving and, and kind and, and those kinds of things. Um, so first impressions. Yeah, you find somebody and your first impression might be transference. You might look at someone and say, oh, that reminds me of so-and-so. And so obviously then you try to attribute traits of so-and-so, whether good or bad, to the person you just meet. And if you leave it at that, well, that doesn't help at all. You, you, you don't find the, the whole person behind it. And we're all uh, each unique because of, of our genetics, because of our life experiences, uh, what have you. Uh, so to dig deeper into, into what's more whole. And, and granted, we won't, all, we won't know. I mean, there's so much to the picture that we can't know at all. We can get glimpses and, and kind of fill in blanks, but it's not the whole thing. You know, as God is choosing David among other thing, uh, among other people, you know, the, the least likely candidate is the one that God cho- chooses, you know. And often we see God does surprise. Jesus picks his disciples, not from the cream of the crop, but he goes out in the countryside and just finds whomever. Uh, and, this Sunday, it's Nathaniel uh, sitting under the tree, and, and, and Nathaniel, upon seeing, hearing from Philip, uh, says, "Can any good come out of of Nazareth?" And Philip, "Well, come and see." And so he does. First impressions, not that Nathaniel was saying that Nazareth, Nazarenes are all evil and that kind of thing, but he just never heard of Nazareth before. It's a small little town of 600 people. Um, so. Upon further conversation, Nathaniel changes his mind. And it's the surprise that God gives Nathaniel and for us too when we don't stop and look and wait and, and endeavor to, to find out more, um, to be patient and, and fill in more of the picture of who we are, who God is. So I think that's the important thing is, you know, uh, our life experiences tell us a lot. How do we fill in the blanks of where God is, is in these? And that's a, that's a challenge for us, people of faith, for people of faith. Um, where and how is God present in, the, in our lives and what, what happens to us and others? 
and our responses and other people's responses and how is all this take place uh, so uh, yeah be prepared for the surprises that God will give you today and whatever that may be it may not be anything that you think is major but who knows who knows keep an open mind let us pray the gracious and loving God you surprise us always <clears throat> with <clears throat> things you do and, and people you direct into our lives um, kind of give us hope that uh, through this pandemic we'll be surprised that things will turn out better that that um, you play a, a, an important role that we've never seen before and help us discover who you are in our lives in your name we pray amen well until tomorrow Peace and be surprised.